Today we have a 2000 Bennington 2250 RL. This pontoon is powered by a 50 horsepower Mercury Bigfoot four stroke outboard. Additionally, as you can tell, this pontoon does have a bimini top with a boot included and it is fully deployed at the moment. On the rear of the boat, we do have a fold-down three-step boarding ladder. It is currently down. Overall, this pontoon is in pretty good condition for the year. It does have some dents and dings, as you can see. The trailer that this pontoon is currently on is not included in the price, but we do have float on and scissor trailers available for purchase. Now we'll make our way into the boat through the bow. One thing to notice, it does have a nice bow area. So if you're anchored, it's a nice place to sit on the front of the boat. We also have a bow entry exit door. And additionally, we want have one on the port side and one in the rear. This pontoon features two very nice sized layback couches. One on the starboard side, one on the port side. Both have great storage underneath, perfect for storing life jackets. Same thing going on over here, just a little bit shorter. In the corner of the laybox, both of these couch couches have a storage compartment underneath. Once again, this is very large. It's one thing this pontoon does have a lot of is great storage options. Moving our way back farther in the boat, we're gonna focus now on the driver's council. It is a, f a molded fiberglass council with storage. Also the windshield you see there is removable. There's a lot going on on the dash. First thing I'm gonna draw your attention to is our switches. So we have a couple switches that are not currently in use. We have an additional accessory switch, another accessory switch, and a live well switch. Currently this boat does not have a live well, and the switches are here in case you ever chose to add that option. What we do have is docking lights and our anchor lights, navigation and anchor lights right here. We also have a Boss AM FM Bluetooth radio with aux and USB inputs as well. This also has a weather guard on it. We 
We also have a 12 volt power outlet right here. Moving up a little further, we have an electronic horn, a tachometer, a trim gauge, a voltmeter, a fuel gauge, and a Humminbird di digital depth gauge. Looking down even further, we do have our controls for our Mercury outboard, including our trim up and trim down button. We have our ignition key switch and our kill switch as well. Another item of importance, this boat does have an 11 person maximum capacity according to the U.S. Coast Guard. We also have a nice sized driver's bench seat. This does have a slider so it can adjust closer and further from the helm. Even further back we do have a L-shaped couch with plenty of seating. Clearly we do have a table with three beverage holders as well. This can be fully removed from the boat if you do not wish to have it. We also have two movable cup holder inserts. These can be removed so easily and put wherever you'd like in the boat by simply sliding them in between the seat. So they can go in the front as well. Once again, we have great storage underneath. Last but not least, we do have an aft padded sun deck. This is perfect for laying out and tanning on a nice summer day. Both of these cushions do flip up. This one just gives you a little bit better access to your battery. And if I can get this one. This one gives you access to your fuel tank. It's not recommended to store anything in here. It's more of just an access panel. So once again guys, this is a 2000 Bennington 2250 RL. It is powered by 50 horsepower. Mercury four stroke. This is the Bigfoot model. This pontoon includes a bimini top with a boot, individual seat covers, as well as a mooring cover. If you're interested in this boat, please, please feel free to stop by at any time. We'd love to show you around the boat and answer any questions that you may have about it. If you cannot make it into the store but want to look just a little bit closer, please feel free to visit our website. That is www.leadersrpm.com. This will be under our used boat inventory. We'll have lots of pictures as well as a detailed description of every option this boat has. Thank you for watching.